वेरी कामन फ्लवर् जनरली इन आल द्लेस दी मन दतूरा फ्लवर पीलिस्तम अभी चोट कौ वी विसेक्ट दिश दतूरा फ्लवर् अं चेक यू नो द फ्लवर् लुक लुक् वेरी इंट्रेस्टिंग यू वि सी आल द डिफरेंट हॉल आफ दि फ्लवर् जनरली एंजोस्पम फ्लवर् हाज फोर ओल इन इट फस्ट ओल वि कॉल इट एज ए कैलिक्स Look how calyx will be there in the tura flower. Very fresh flower it is, and uh, very nicely we are getting the pods. And this is the calyx. This what is uh, called as calyx. The each part of the calyx we call as sepals 1 2 3 4 5 sepals are there now i am dissecting the corolla the second whorl of the flower this is called corolla look here the corolla how it will be very nice corolla wonderfully we got this is what corolla and the each the different parts of the corolla generally we call as a petals and now the third whorl we call it is andrusium so you look the andrusium consist of different number of stamens here there are five stamens are there one two three Four, five. This is the third hole we call as andrusium, and then fourth hole. Very nice. This is what gynesium. In this gynesium, there are three parts are there. Base is called base swollen part. In that we can see the ovary. this is the style and this is the stigma so this is about the structure of your flower having four whorls in it calyx corolla andrusium and gynesium now i will explain in detail with the help of the chart in this chart one complete datura flower is there after that there is a first whorl what i told is a calyx and calyx contains different parts we call as the sepals sometimes these sepals may be free or sometimes sepals may be united and next part to corolla corolla is a second whorl of the flower and it contains different petals and corolla will be in different colors in different flowers based on the corolla color only most of the butterflies insects and bees are attracted towards the flowers and they will do they will be helpful in the pollination process pollination jarigatam kosam manaki help chese tatvanti important part of the flower is corolla so corolla lo oka each part ni manam em pilustam petals an pilustam petals corolla petals calyx sepals just to remember properly and this calyx and corolla combinedly we call as a accessory organs or non essential organs of the flower because they are not taking much part in the reproduction then third whorl we call as andrusium andro means it's reflecting male reproductive part of the flower 
this antrium consists of different number of stamens what i told you look here 1 2 3 4 5 stamens are there in the datura flower and this stamens what each stamen have two parts one is a long narrow like structure that is called filament and top there is one more structure called as anther this anther will give pollen grains these pollen grains will be um, helpful in the pollination at the same time they will involve in the reproduction of uh, so in the process of fertilization this is about andrisium and fourth wall we call as a gynesium in this gynesium there are different type of uh, carpels are there so i will explain the carpel concept in the next one uh, each gynesium consists of one or more carpels so in the carpel there is a three parts ovary style long part which is extension of ovary and top one is a stigma this we call it as a stigma so i hope you understand all the floral parts properly the first one is calyx corolla non essential organs andrisium gynesium essential organs so if you look the other flower which is a hibiscus flower generally it is a very common flower you are seeing in your surroundings me surroundings lo chaala sarlu man hibiscus flower gurinchi chustunnam so you learnt lot of times about this hibiscus flower ee hibiscus flower this is a full flower of hibiscus and in this also we will see how different floral structure as i told you about the gynesium it consists of one or more carpels so everybody will confuse about the concept of carpel and now i will explain the carpel concept so sometimes the carpels are very free free carpels are free that is called uh, apocarpus condition some carpels are united that is called syncarpus condition so this carpel concept i will explain with the help of one fruit now uh, look this fruit this is a custard apple fruit in this fruit there is a uh, carpels each one is a one carpel this is one carpel this is other carpel this is other carpel you see how different uh, carpels are there and each carpel contains ovary style and stigma after become a uh, the flower now it becomes fruit and in this fruit only we can observe all different carpels but their carpels are not united so this is the characteristic of primitive flowers so you see members all these are having apocarpus gynesium it means all the carpels are free they are not at all united i think now you understand the concept of carpel ante carpels vidi vidi ga ganaka unnatlaite combined ga kaakanda danni apocarpus gynesium ani pilustaru ikkada carpels anni vidi vidi ga unnai anamata idu oka carpel idu oka carpel idu oka carpel okokati oko carpel suppose this is the characteristic of uh, what i told uh, primitive flowers now you look here this is a fruit of lemon if you cut lemon there we, we can see there are some partitions so each one is one carpel but here there is no any um, we cannot to uh, divide carpel separately it means all the carpels are united so this condition we call it as a syncarpus condition most of the advanced family flowers having syncarpus condition so now i think you understand apocarpus means carpels are free example custard apple like magnolia lot of examples are there most of the primitive flowers this is a syncarpus condition it means lemon is there lot of goa lot of examples are there all are the characteristics of the syncarpus condition it's called as syncarpus gynesium set of floral parts we will discuss the sexuality of the flowers you know are seeing a lot of flowers most of the flowers are generally two types of flowers which we can see in our surroundings mana surroundings lo rendu rakalainatuvanti flowers ni manam chodochu first konni flowers ni bisexual flowers ani pilustam konni flowers vachi unisexual flowers what is a bisexual flower and what is unisexual flower 
बाइसेक्सुअल फ्लावर मीन्स द फ्लावर कंटाइन्स बोथ एंड्रीशियम एंड गाइनेशियम दैट इज कॉल्ड बाइसेक्सुअल फ्लावर If the flower contains only andrisium or gynesium, it is a unisexual flower. Now you, here I will like to show you different types of bisexual flowers. You see, this is a hibiscus flower, where you can see this is andrisium and gynesium. Same way, the tura flower. You look, this is uh, gynesium and this is entire parts are <coughs> andrisium parts. and you look here gloriosa superba all these are the stamens of andrisium and look here this is what gynesium it means both are present and cassia now we call it as a senon blistum lily so you see this is what uh, gynesium and these are the stamens we call as andrisium so in each flower prati flower lo kuda andrisium gynesium rendu unte danni bisexual flower ani pilustam अलाका ओनली आंड्रीशियम का गैनीशियम का रेदोमात्रे उ दाँ यूनिसेक्सुअल फ्लवर अलस्तर सो इक चूँ देर आर्फरेंट टाइप आफ् यूनिसेक्सुअल फ्लवर्स ई हाव पेस्टेड हियर द बेस्ट एग्जापल इज कुटेसी फैमिल कुटेसी फैमिल अने यूनिसेक्सुअल फ्लवर्स की बेस्ट एग्जापल मन चूस्त पंपकिन चूस्त ईवी गार दिने दंडकाय पीलोर दिशाज तिंदोरा इन हिंदी All these type of flowers, like bitter gourd, next snake gourd, so many things are rigid gourd, anapakai, tarvat berakai, tarvat bandakai, potlakai. Which lot of flowers are any good? Best example for the unisexual flowers. Here, just one day, pumpkin only. Here, we only have one type of cinandrous stamens. This is a male flower. So this is also only cinandrous stamens. So, इदंत वन टू थ्री स्टामें युनेटेड उ दिस्ज आलो मेल फ्लवर् अंड दुक हिर् दिस्ज बाटिल गार आनपका पीलिस्तम कदा बाटिल गार फ्लवर चूँ दिस्ज ए वन मेल फ्लवर् अंड हिर् दिस्ज ए फिमेल फ्लवर् चूँ आनपकाय फिमेल फ्लवर का दी गईनीशियम नीचे आनपकाय अने डेवलप वावरी नीचे So this is about two female flower. So male flower and female flower. There are two separate. Here there is another condition. Ikda, the male flowero, tarvato female flowero, endo kalsi okay plant me thondo chhu. Conditions condition. So e endo kora okay plant me thonte. Kani konna atlo dioecious condition ondo. Dioecious lo ante ante male flowero okay plant me thonta di, female flower vary plant me thonta. Ekar chodandi. पापाय बेस्ट एग्जापल पापाय बोपाई अलस्तम कदा पापाय मेल फ्लवर अने प्लांट मेद सो वाटू कायल का फिमेल फ्लवर्स वेरे प्लांट मेद वाट की मतमे कायल का अलागे ताटे बोरास फैमिली ताटे मेल प्लांट विड़ी फिमेल प्लांट विड़ी का बट्टी इवन यूनिसेक्सुअल फ्लवर्स अन्ट सो आल दीज वी का यूनिसेक्सुअल फ्लवर्स I think you understand now the concept of oh, sexuality of the flowers. So to all the concepts of today, what we discussed, oh. summarized in two slides. Just look here and read carefully. I hope you enjoyed my video lecture. ये रोज़ मानों डिस्कस चेसी नांता कोड़ा मी को चाला बागा आधे वाइंडर नहीं आने कुंठ नानो। So next videos लो मानों मो आ symmetry of the flower, merasity of the flower, and position of the gynesium and the thalamus. So इ thalamus में दा आ gynesium यो का position ये रखने आउट ने अने भी मानों मो डिस्कस चेदो, which is very very important concept. तरवा मन चूसक एस्टिवेशन प्लासेंटेस इला चाल इंपारटे का अभी कमिंग पार्टी लाइव एग्जापल तो मैं एक्सप्लेन चेयर 
కాబట్టి డోంట్ మిస్ ఇట్ సో ఈ వీడియోని మీరు పూర్తిగా చూసారు కాబట్టి ఈ వీడియో మీకు నచ్చితే లైక్ చేయండి షేర్ చేయండి కంపల్సరిగా సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి ఇంతవరకు నా ఛానల్ని సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోకపోతే అలాగే మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ కూడా చెప్పండి దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ టుడే లెక్చర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్